guys, welcome back to another episode of Omicron Gaming. In today's episode, I'll be playing a bit of Darkest Dungeon. Um, this game is basically a roguelike game with a sort of hero management system on top of it. It's better explained if I play this game than me sitting here explaining it to you guys. So let's play up this save. And we can... I'm If I'm not mistaken, I'm still in the tutorial for this one. There you go. So you're suddenly thrown into a fight and as you can see there's a lot of statistics involved in this game where you can hit someone miss someone damage mods let's say I want to use open vein on this character here I have a 83% chance of hitting it 5% um, chance to crit and I can do between 4 to 9 damage so stab him 7 damage not bad he gets bleed so it's 2 damage per round for 3 rounds so a total of six damage is going to be inflicted on him. Let's use smite, and as you can see here, it's turn <clears throat> when you encounter an enemy. It's a turn-based battle, and um, as I said, there's a lot of st uh, statistics involved. And look at that. You also have different sort of um, traits. Like I'm a warrior of light gives me 10% damage when the light is above 75% this torch here is the light meter and as this torch goes lower the more paranoid your heroes will become you'll also get start to get some debuffs I'll show you guys if it ever comes to that right, let's kill this guy off as the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. excellent so let's move on Interactive objects. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. I will. You left some valuables, which I will take. Leave nothing unchecked. Mm. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Now you notice that this light An went ambush. down, right? Send these As it went down, it increases my the stress. Owner has returned, and their and is no the stress is indicated welcome. by this little black box here if it goes all the way to 100 your heroes will start experiencing um, they'll start get paranoid or they can suddenly be resolved and it's better if I show it to you once it comes so once it happens it's easier to understand what's gonna happen let's stab this guy excellent so bleed smite him as well There we the go. Bigger the beast, the greater the Kill him off. He's probably gonna do blanket fire or rush shot. All right. Those dodge. That's very good. <coughs> I'm doing surprisingly well, <coughs> but then again, this is still a tutorial run. It gets a lot worse later on. You'll see. Oh, dodged again. Wow. I'm gonna get out of this unscathed. Give them no quarter. So this is chess here, right? You think like, eh, might as well open it, but it's a trap chest, so let's see what happens if we do. It's obviously trapped. Luckily I resisted the blight. So now I can continue and leave the dungeon. So we got some good stuff, some deeds, some busts. These are used for upgrading your estate, which you should see shortly. Oh, also, if you level up your resolve, you'll gain a new trait. They can be either good or bad. In this case, that's good. And that's also good. So that's good. Excellent. Let's return to town. This is where your estate used to be. I think that is where your estate used Welcome to be. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. They are yours now. Okay, as you and can you see here, this is the town. As you complete more quests, you'll begin to unlock all these different buildings and they have different effects. Uh, some of them are used for reducing stress. This is a graveyard. Most will end up here. So this is stage This earth, is where we replenish our heroes because death is permanent in this game. When you lose one of your heroes, he's gone. He's gone for good. So this Women case, the men, stage goes to heroes' life. So let's hire the plague doctor and, corpses. and the vestal. All 
all will find their way to us now that the road is clear. There's nothing else I can do at this point. Uh, I can probably upgrade the stagecoach to include more heroes. So the next time I come over here, uh, after going into back into the estate and having a week pass, I can replenish the number of heroes here. If I take this upgrade, I can increase the number of heroes to three, but I won't do that just yet. I wanted to show you guys what it's like to go into a dungeon. Madness and morbidity. It's basically the same as the encounters that we had previously, but it's 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 a larger area to f conquer. Sort of. So in this case, to get out of this dungeon or to complete the goal, we need to complete 100% of the room battles. Um, you can retreat before you finish the goal, but generally, uh, it's a good idea if your if your party members are dying and you only have like what two left, then just get out. Otherwise, you do want to stay and complete this goal. Otherwise, your guys will start to get really stressed. So I right click this guy here, uh, like you see these four slots here, one, two, three, four. This guy here, he prefers position three and four, so I'm going to put him there. And this guy prefers position either two or three, so I can put him either here or here. I'll put him there for now. This guy prefers the back position, number one or two, so I'll put him there and she prefers position two. So I'll move my plague doctor over here and keep my vestal at the third spot so everything's good and all and provision the cost of preparedness measured now in gold as you can see here for your first Later. short quest try bringing at least eight in food blood. and four torches it's a good idea to get prepared otherwise this game it's not nice to you basically i'll bring a shovel just in case i need to clear something and a skeleton key to unlock a box I also need to bring torches to increase the light level. Just in case something goes bad, I'll bring eight of them. I'll bring a bandage and anti-venom. And I'll embark on my quest. So we'll be entering the runes now. The fiends must be driven back. Okay, so and what see the map. Place to begin than the seat of our noble I'll probably mind. have to go here, here. And then there, and then backtrack to finish all the rooms. Remember that the goal is to clear 100% of all room battles. So if this is not a room battle, then I could easily skip it. But there's no way of me knowing what that room is because it's not shown on the map. So you can see there's items that you can grab here, which are partially intact. Set of, I can attempt to perform some experiments and it can either go well or it can go horribly wrong. I'll do it. Ah, oh, an accident occurs, and luckily I resisted that. If I'm not mistaken, every time you, if you can see these little squares here, every time you move into one of these squares, your light level reduces by 5. So that should take me to 83, or 82 in this case. So not exactly 5. So I've surprised this mon these monsters. What that means is that my movements will take priority over their movements. So that is good. I'll attack with... Ooh, interesting. Judgment then. I'll judge these maggots. With impunity. Excellent. So he's kinda stressed. Damage mod. So I'll st Think step that. That's good. Everything worked out. That's a heal and that's vapors. I can't throw my plague grenade because as you can see here there's four circles, right? As I mentioned there, one, two, three, four. To use the skill, I must be positioned in position 1 or 2, and the enemy must be in position 3 or 4. In this case, the enemy is in position 1, so I can't actually use the skill. I can use other skills, increasing my friend's attack to hopefully hit him. There's a 20% chance that I'll miss, but I didn't, so that's good. Excellent. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious So 82, killer. this the next step will drop me down to 76. So that's what six, six light is reduced every single time. Oh man, everything I touch <laughs> turns to shit. All right, well I'm not gonna, gonna use the anti venom right now. 
Hopefully this isn't a room battle. Yep, it's a room battle. Okay. From my experience playing this game... Oh, that's not good. Okay, in my experience, it's really good to take out this guy. Because what she can do is she can move around my units and that really messes me up. So grape shot, not grape shot, pistol shot this cultist acolyte. And I miss, of course. Throw my plate grenade. As I mentioned before, this one I have to be standing in position 1. And the enemy has to be in positions 3 and 4. And what the line across the circles mean is that I can attack both of them at the same time. There we go. Hopefully we get blight. All right. Call the sack like on blight. Okay. I'm. I have to use the anti venom in this case because I don't want to die. <laughs> Nine damage. All right. I will heal my crusader. And we shall carry on. Ah. All good. Oh, resisted. That's great. See? If this one hits, and I don't resist it... Okay, I resisted it in, in that case, but if I didn't, it would have pushed me back a few uh, spaces backwards. And that would have really messed me up. In this I can shoot her, or I can kill off this character. In this case, I think I want to kill him off. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Alright, so I'll still apply Blight. Pop in the night. Ooh, dodged. I'll keep healing him. Ooh. There goes that heal. I can, if I hit, I can instantly kill off this character. Because I can do 7 to 15 damage. So there's 10% chance that I'll miss. I think I'll take that chance. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Boom. Good thing I didn't bleed. I'll pistol shot the cultist. No, actually, I'll open vein this cultist acolyte. And I missed. Ooh. Six damage per round. For two rounds. I'll use zealous accusation because this hits. The first two guys at the front. Press there we go. Advantage. Give them no quarter. As you notice, as it gets darker, I gain more stress. It's easier for me to gain more stress. Ah, my cure failed. Ran for the old gods. Don't don't stack the bleed on me. Oh, that's good. Cured myself. Swing my sword at him, and we're good to go. A trifling victory. Not a Camp, victory. Plus twenty percent stress heal. Occultist. I don't think I have an occultist yet. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. I'll increase the light. Paid for in blood. Because it'll help me out. Let's open the sack. Twenty-five gold. This doesn't look like something I would want to go in. I'll try it out anyway. Ah, loot. Oh, enemies. I'm still gonna keep healing my knight here. Ooh. Dodge, that's good. Of course I miss. Why wouldn't I? Dazed. Crit. Reeling. About to break. This infecting line. Never used this before. Oh, it shuffles them around.
Oh no, blight. Oh, that's good. Resisted that. Of course I miss again. What's... Ah, damn it. What's it? 67% chance to hit? Come on. There we go. As victories mount, That's good. So too will resistance. So I'll go in this room here. See what happens. Ah, see? Uh, if I have enough light, I can be able to scout ahead and see what's up. Okay, as you can see here, that's definitely a battle. That's not a battle, I'm guessing? I'm not sure. Sometimes, even though you go into rooms like this, there's still a battle. So, I'll I'll try and proceed this way. I'll, I'll try and proceed this way, actually. Because if I get here and I don't finish my quest and I have to backtrack all that way, that'll be bad. <laughs> Let's move this way. Oh, let's take a torch. Thank you. I'll use that as well. In radiance, may we find victory. Ah, fought the enemy. So I'll just do a grip shot blast to hit all three of them at the same time. Kill it? Oh, it's crit. Nice. He's down. I'll open vein this fella. Bleed. Nope, he didn't bleed. That's too bad. Health are starting to get lower, so I'll start healing up my party. There we go. Problem solved. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Ah. Uh, passages actually made me more stress. That's not good. So, okay, there is nothing in this room. Let's just backtrack back. It's not a great use of light, but... What can you do? So we know there's gonna be a fight in this room. There's gonna be a fight right after here. I'll use a torch just to keep everything light. light gains purchase, spirits are there we go. And purpose is made clear. I'll do a grip shot blast. Should just a pistol shot. I'll try to stab one of them. Zealous accusation here. That takes takes one left. He'll do a bump. Judgment. There we go. That didn't take too long. This expedition at least I'll have her success. open up this locked display cabinet again. And it's trapped. And I got blight. That's okay. So there's a trap here. Oops! <laughs> Ambushed by foul and Oh, uh, that's not good. Alright, there's gonna be a battle right here. Okay, these two guys here, they're really annoying. They do a lot of damage. As you can see there. <laughs> okay. Play grenade. One of two one out of the two is not that bad, so. Use the yeah, uh, oh, English. I can either use a grape shot blast here or an open vein or pistol shot. I'm thinking grape shot blast. There we go. Um. Oh, party heal. That's that's gonna be useful. I'm gonna do that instead. 
Zealous Accusation would deal 4 to 8 damage to either two of these. Let's try it out. Ah, oh, got one. Alright, I'm gonna do another party heal. I'm gonna throw... I'm going to actually shuffle this Bone Arbalist forward, if possible. Or not. I'll shuffle him backwards. <laughs> Ow. Okay. No grape shot blast. I wanna smite this bone arbalist. There we go. It's down. So we only have one guy left to take care of. Round three. Open veins. Bleed please. Nope. No bleed for me. Okay. I think in this case judgment, 80% chance to hit, 3 to 7 damage would be the right choice. Or he can dodge that attack and it'll be the wrong choice. I'll do a battlefield medicine here. Have to keep my party up and running or otherwise. I mean there's two more rooms I have to get through. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Al cool. must be carried home. So let's try reading this book here, and hopefully it's not an unsettling passage. <laughs> of course it is. Hunger. See, that's why we brought the food. We're gonna eat it up, and we're also going to torch up. To be able to see this trap right here. Disarm it. No, I didn't disarm it at all. Mechanical I got damaged. Possessed by evil intent. Let's go through this room. That's safe. I guess this one is the final room battle. Ah! Nuts. You know what? For the hell of it, let's go. Oh, new medals I synthesized, so that's more money for me. Cool. Let's turn on the light again. <laughs> you don't want to die now. And there's nothing you uh, need to remember. It's that these stuff, like the torches and all this provision stuff that you bought, they don't carry over to the next expedition. So it's a good idea to use them up if you can. Like in this case, I'll use another one up. 100% go in this room. Is born. Hopefully we surprise them. Or not. Okay, this is going to be interesting. As you can see, Gripshot Blast is supposed to hit three characters, but since, since this guy is pretty damn fat, he takes up two sl slots right here. Um, let's think about this. I want to hit the people behind, because this guy here, he really likes to use blanket fire, which does damage to all my party members, so I'll shoot him down. Like I said, blanket fire, which is pretty annoying. Also throw a play grenade in the back. Oh, it's going to shank me. Okay, you can divine judgment. That's this guy. I missed. I have to smite this blood letter. 80% chance, or I can. Yes, it's 50% stun resist. Hmm. All right, I'll smite him. Oh, it's their turn now. Oh, good thing I dodged. First pistol shot. The there we go. Critical. Up. Oh. That's not good. As you can see here, I'm at death's door. So another hit that I take, I'm going to die permanently. Good thing that if you heal it, he'll uh, he'll get out of death's door. But another hit will land him in death's door again so if you, as long as you keep healing a guy who's in death's door you'll be fine see it took him out of death's door uh play grenade again on, light on this guy good light light point black shot eight damage Whew. and i move backwards what 
I'll do here, I'll increase... No, actually, I'll disorient this fella here. Yeah, they switch positions. This is good. We cut him open. And next turn, he'll get Blight and Bleed, so he'll go down for sure. So I'll just concentrate on this fella. And... I think I'll do a Judgment. No, actually, I will heal up my Knight. Ooh, that's not nice. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Okay, I need a heal up. Uh, this guy. There we go. Everything's good. We're just bleeding. No, 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 no. That's not good. That is. That's bad. If it's his turn, I can die. Oh, I didn't die, that's good. Whew. But he needs healing. Soon. So I'll use Battlefield Medicine. Him? Cured him of his bleeding? Uh oh. Right, we just need to get rid of this guy and <laughs> I think we're home free. And hopefully have no party members die. <laughs> There we go. Victory. We got pretty close there, but I think we're all right. So we'll take everything. We'll try and open up this ornate sar 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 sarcophagus. It's my skeleton key. Ah, oh, yeah. Take all of that. And thank you. Good night. Room by room, all my home. We reclaim what is ours. So I got. 3,000 gold from completing the quest, 2 busts, 2 crests, um, 3k, no, yeah, 3k gold and other items, and we got a lot of heirlooms which we can use, alright, this guy leveled up, see this is what I meant by a bad, um, by a bad trait that you can get, oh, he's a bad gambler, <laughs> Demonomania believes it's possessed by demons. Okay. So we'll go back to town. And if I'm not mistaken, this will unlock the sanatorium. No, the abbey, sorry. <laughs> the abbey and the cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. I can the abbey basically to the faithful. So he doesn't want to pray. Oh, I mean he only wants to pray. So we'll chuck him there for prayer. Uh, it also unlocks the tavern. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtains. This here will solace to the drink weary his cares away. Alike. We'll keep these two around and we'll hire our new party members as well. To those with a keen eye, as you can see, these two will be unavailable like for us next time point. we embark uh, to another quest. There's no way we can just like use them, right? Because they're off doing their own thing. So the next time we come back from a quest, uh, these two guys will be available again, and they'll have the stress reduced. So that's good. But yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been a what is video of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, if you want it, I think it's twenty dollars on Steam. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.